Matthew continues, and Jesus stood still and called to them. Mark, and Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. Luke, and Jesus stood and commanded him to be brought to him. Okay, so and Jesus stood, that's the same in all three. Matthew and Mark have still. Matthew, and called them. Mark, and commanded him to be called, so and commanded them to be called. Luke, and commanded, I could put them to be brought to him. You know, Mark is the only one with this added storyline that he commanded him to be called and then others called the blind man saying to him, be of good comfort, rise, he calls you. And Luke is the only one to say brought. When he was come near. Mark explains that he, casting away his garment, rose and came to Jesus on his own. Now, he was blind, so he could have had help. So, I think I am going to keep brought instead of called. But I'm going to have mostly how Mark explains it. Commanded him to be called, but commanded him to be brought. So, and is all three. Commanded him to be is Mark and Luke. But not just him, them. And that's only in Matthew. And then Luke only brought to him. Mark, and they call the blind man, saying to him, Be of good comfort, rise, he calls you. Those words would have to be made plural. And they call to them, saying, Maybe I could just get rid of to him. It's just saying, be of good comfort, he calls you. The you I could leave, and it could still be plural, but I need a them. Or I could just leave off man. And they called the blind, saying, be of good comfort, rise, he calls you. And they call the blind I'm just gonna have to leave it as blind and they called the blind that would be okay it's not the best but I don't know how else to say it and then just saying from Mark And I'll explain the address so that I'm leaving out some words just to make it still apply to both the men, which are only explained in Matthew, but all these extra interactions between the crowd and the blind man are not in Matthew, so they didn't need to use all these words. Saying, Be of good comfort, rise, he calls you. Yeah, that's not anyone else. And, oh man, now it's he casting away his garment. I could get rid of the he and just have casting away their garments, but I'd have to have an S as well. What will you that I shall do to you? And they say to him, Lord, that our eyes may be opened. Okay, this is going to be really difficult. And they say to him, Lord, that our eyes may have seen. Okay, so that could be fine. But still, this part, casting away his garments, rose and came to Jesus. Did both the men go to Jesus? Because Matthew doesn't mention that. Matthew only mentions that Jesus says, What will you that I shall do to you? Okay, I have to put in Luke as well. And when he was come near. So, and when they were come near.
and when they casting away garment and when Maybe I can just say he cast away his garment and they came near. Because there's no mention that both of them cast away both of their garments. Perhaps only one had a larger garment to cast away. They both arrived, and I can just leave that mention with the one man, as mentioned in Mark. And he casting away his garment rose. And when they were come near. Yeah, that's what I can do. So I'll save, and when he or they was come near, I'll save that for later, and now I have to put Mark. And he casting away his garment, Rose. So this is still Mark. And he casting away his garment, Rose. And when came near. I have to have a they. Matthew. There is a they in 33. They say to him, Lord, that our eyes may be opened. In Mark, it's different. The blind man said to him. So I could do what I did earlier and just leave it as the blind said to him, which means I can use that they. They. I have to go with Mark. Came. To Jesus is still a mark, but I want to have near from Luke. He asked him. Jesus answered and said. I already have the name Jesus, so I'm not going to repeat it immediately after. When they came near to Jesus, Jesus said, I'll just put he from Luke asked him saying from Luke Mark has answered and said to him Matthew has said it could be an answer because it's the blind man that initiated the conversation or it could be asked because Jesus is now asking a question so that would make sense I think I can have both answered and asked him not answered and said to him. I know said is in Matthew and Mark, but he's asking a question. That's what he's really saying. He's not just saying a question, it's asking a question. So I'll have Mark answered. And now Luke asked. And then I can skip the two and just have him, Mark and Luke, saying. So I guess that could be the equivalent of said from Matthew and Mark. So yeah, I'll do that. Luke only saying. What will you that I shall do to you? Shall is in Matthew and Luke, so I'll go with that. 